guys, it's Cynthia the Fishing Mommy and I'm back again with another 2020 holiday gift guide. This time it is for kayak anglers. I'm really excited about this one. I personally am a kayak angler. I have uh, a, too many kayaks <laughs> and I really enjoy fishing from them. I am out there as often as I can get out there. And one thing I'll tell you from being a kayak fishing enthusiast is that there is like no shortage of accessories and little additional toys and tools and uh, things that you might want to make your day out on the water comfortable, uh, easier, more productive, and more fun. So with that in mind, I've got a list of 10 items that I love and use. And well, actually most of them are things that I personally already use. Uh, a few of them are things that are on my personal wish list as well. But this is 10 items that are gonna make great gifts for anybody on your holiday gift list who's a kayak angler. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into my list of the top 10 gifts for any kayak angler. First is something that's really, really practical, but also just a great little gift. This is a Leatherman signal tool. And this is a multi-tool. Uh, a lot of us have multi-tools. We've seen these before. This one has pliers and a cutter. Um, it also has a number of other tools in here. I think it has like 18 or 20 tools. Carabiner here, bottle opener. There's a hex, a uh, wrench right here. There's a knife and a saw. Here's the knife, a really nice sharp knife, by the way, and a little saw, which is surprisingly handy when you're fishing. I, it seems like sometimes there's branches and stuff that are just in your way, and so a sharp little serrated saw is great to have in your pocket with you. Uh, there's a fire starting striker that you can detach and strike with a blade to make a spark. There is a screwdriver, there's a sharpener here, uh, all sorts of great little tools in this lightweight, compact Leatherman Signal Multi-Tool. And this sells for about $119. I'll leave the link down below, just like I will with all of these items. The next thing I'm gonna talk about, number two, is the Garmin Striker 4 Plus CV. This is a fish finder and a depth finder. And it also has, of course, it tells you the temperature of the water. This one is really cool because the Plus CV means plus clear view, which gives you a really enhanced view of what you're looking at down in the water underneath your kayak. It also will actually make maps as you move around your body of water. You can tell it to draw a contour map of the bottom. Love this feature, especially because a lot of the lakes and ponds that I fish in, there aren't really uh, maps available for them. Here in the Northeast, the, the contour maps are not as readily available as they are in some other states. So this contour mapping feature is such a great one. And for the price, I don't think you can beat the Garmin Striker 4 Plus CV. It's a very full featured but compact little um, fish finder unit. I love it. It's got a four inch color screen and that is plenty for me on a kayak, honestly. I mean, if you're a tournament angler or something like that, you might want a more complicated system. But for, you know, the casual kayak angler, I think that the Garmin Striker 4 is fantastic. It's one of the best selling units out there. And it sells for about $180. Now to go along with your Garmin Striker 4, there is something called a um, Noqua Power Pack. And this is a very, very small compact battery pack that is a, about this big. It's, a, it's incredible. It's a little cube about that big and it's completely waterproof. Um, and it is, instead of the heavy sort of bulky 12 volt batteries that most of us have to use for our electronics on our kayaks, this thing is like practically weightless. It's so fantastic. I have one and I'm so excited about this thing. If the kayak angler that you're shopping for does not have one of these, I highly recommend it. It's such an amazing gift, whether they're gonna use it for a fish finder, whether they wanna power some lights on their kayak, 
whether they just want to have it wired to um, USB ports that they've installed in the kayak so they can charge their phone or their cameras. This thing is awesome. I'm telling you, it is such a wonderful, wonderful upgrade from the typical batteries that we use. Uh, it is a little pricey. It's $129 for the 10 amp hour version. It is wonderful. And uh, I'm going to leave that link down below. That's the Yak Attack Noqua 10 amp hour power pack battery. Item number four is this orthopedic seat cushion. I, I really don't know the brand name for this thing. It's just one I bought off of Amazon, but I gotta tell you, I love this thing. It was um, about $40 and as you can see, it's really big, uh, but super comfy. This is the back with this little hump here. And that is specifically for sciatica pain, um, which is something that bothers me. And uh, then it has this sort of U-shaped cutout. That's the, that's the front. Um, here is the product. I hope you can see this. I'm going to add some pictures from the listing as well. This thing is awesome. It is a memory foam um, and gel sitting pillow. So it has these sort of gel uh, discs inside and uh, it is a, a very large and it has a non-slip backing on it. So it's not going to slide around. Hopefully you can see that. It's not going to slide around on your kayak seat. Some people may be concerned about using memory foam on a kayak because uh, it gets wet, but I haven't had any problems with that whatsoever. I really love this. I have a number of seat cushions that I've tried because I do have lower back issues. Um, and this is by far my favorite one. This is $39.99. I'm going to leave the link down below. It is just called orthopedic seat cushion. <laughs> uh, so I don't have a brand name or anything for you, but this is the best one that I personally have tried and I really love it. It makes such a difference on those long days out on the water. Number five on the list, the NRS Boundary Boots. Now, you may or may not have heard of these, but uh, these boots are knee-high, heavy-duty neoprene boots with a uh, hard sole, like a hard rubber sole that's textured. I wouldn't say they're hiking boots by any means, but they definitely are fine for walking around. Um, they're not like a sock bottom or anything like that. They are uh, great for protecting your feet if you step out onto rocks or uh, oyster shells, anything like that. But they're also completely waterproof. And that neoprene is amazing for keeping you um, safe from abrasions, like I said, but also for temperature control. If you're fishing in colder water, uh, when, you're, when you're beaching your boat or when you're entering the water, uh, these boots are fantastic. Uh, they're comfortable enough and steady enough so that there are no problems with a pedal drive if you have a pedal drive. Uh, I know people who live in Florida and wear them all year round. I live here in New York and I wear them all year round. They are fantastic. Now, I personally have the older model. It has one Velcro strap that comes across the top of the foot. The newer model actually has uh, several like bungee cords and a little bit more uh, ankle support and a little bit different of a sole design. I'm probably actually going to ask for the new version of this for the holidays myself because as much as I love my existing ones, that new version has some upgrades that I think would be great. Um, these do come in whole sizes only and they run a little bit big. These are $100. They are NRS boundary boots and they're phenomenal. Highly recommend these. Item number six on the list is another product from NRS. This is the Automatic, Automatic, you get it? Auto Inflating Personal Flotation Device or Life Jacket. Now, what I love about this is it's very, very minimal. It basically is like a collar that sits right here and then there's just one little strap that goes around the back of you and clips in the front. It has a small pocket here, which I personally use for my um, GoPro battery. And, uh, or you could actually put a phone in there as well if you wanted. And it has a, a couple of D-rings and that is it. It is an automatically inflating personal flotation device, which means that it has CO2 cartridges that come with it. And you screw the CO2 cartridge into the receptacle inside the vest 
and um, you wear it obviously uninflated and then if you come in contact with the water if you fall into the water then what happens is there's a little salt capsule inside the salt dissolves and that um, indicates to the co2 cartridge to go off it it goes off and it inflates the vest now i actually know that this works <laughs> because this summer i was fishing in florida and i went to get out of my kayak and misjudged i stepped right into a hole went into the water and boom um <laughs> my vest inflated on me i i wasn't super happy about it at the moment but ultimately i am glad it happened because it really gave me complete confidence in the NRS automatic to be there if I ever actually needed it. Um, this is such a great solution to folks who, you know, feel uncomfortable wearing a regular, you know, full size vest. Uh, the, they feel, a lot of people feel like that gets in their way. They're too heavy, they're too hot. Uh, you know, they don't fit well over clothes, all those things, all those complaints about personal flotation devices, you know, those are valid complaints, but there's really never any reason or excuse for going out on the water in a kayak without a PFD on. And uh, so I personally love my NRS Automatic. I highly recommend this PFD. So that is the NRS Automatic. Uh, auto inflating personal flotation device, $179. Item number seven on our list is the Yak Attack Panfish Pro camera mounting arm. Now, this is something that I don't have, but I've played with it. I have a number of friends who have these on their kayaks and I really want this thing. It's, it's very expensive for what it is, but it really is such a great elegant solution. Uh, there are several different models of these, but basically what they are is extending and or articulating poles that you mount your GoPro or other camera on, and then it can slide right into the track system of your kayak, uh, or some of them come with ram mounts as well. Um, but they are honestly so great if you're if the person in the kayak wants to get video or photos of their trip uh, this is just such a rock solid solution this is one of those kind of items where you might hesitate to buy this for yourself because it's a little bit hard to justify the price honestly a hundred bucks for what is essentially an extending pole <laughs> Um, that's kind of how I feel about it, but at the same time, I'd be super thrilled to receive it as a gift. And that's what made me put it on this list because kayak anglers, uh, probably want this if they record their trips at all, but they may not already have it. And so, uh, it's something you might not have thought of. It belongs on this list. So that is the Yak Attack Panfish Pro camera mount. Item number eight. This is called the Forever Last Floating Fishing Net, and this is a landing net that is perfectly sized for a kayak. And what I love about this net, I have this one, I have the green one, and uh, it has this really soft, squishy foam that goes around the entire handle and then around the entire perimeter of the net itself. And that is floating uh, foam, and it's also really comfortable to grip. So even with wet, slimy hands, you're not gonna drop your net. But if you do drop your net, it floats. Uh, I also like the fact that there's an attached tether on the net and it has a little clip uh, so that you can clip this to your seat or to a leash or to any of the track systems or attachments, attachment points in your kayak. Uh, the other thing that I really love about this net, two other things, one is the size. It's big enough to, I, I've boated, you know, 30 plus inch uh, pickerels in this thing and uh, no problem at all. It's a, it's a nicely sized large net. Um, and then the other thing is that it is plastic coated, rubber coated netting. So it's going to actually protect that fish, keep the sl fish's slime coat intact which allows you to give it a healthier and safer release. So this is the Forever Last uh, Generation 2 floating fishing net, and it's selling right now for about $31, and I'll put that link down below. <music> 
Item number nine on the list is the Bending Branches Whisper Kayak Paddle. I, I originally bought the Bending Branches Paddle when I had my first kayak, which was a like a $200 lifetime, and uh, I needed a paddle. And this one was a great combination of price and functionality. This paddle is aluminum, but it has nice, great non-slip grips on it. It does come with drip guards already installed. And uh, if your kayak angler that you're shopping for uh, has a paddle that they're not in love with, then I definitely recommend taking a look at the Bending Branches Whisper Paddle. It is really great. It's lightweight, it comes in a multitude of sizes, and there's also a chart actually that will tell you which size is right for your kayak angler. Um, and price for performance, I think this is a really, really great deal at about $65. So that's the Bending Branches Whisper Kayak Paddle. Okay, the last item on this list is actually sort of funny. It's something that I don't have myself, but I kind of want it. And so I'm gonna put it on this list. It's called the Green Blob Outdoors Pimp My Kayak Light Kit. And it's a DIY light kit that comes with, um, I think it's six 12 volt LED light strips and a um, rechargeable battery and a charger and all the wire leads that you need. So it's basically everything that you would need to add lights, LED waterproof lights to your kayak uh, inside and out. And it comes in three colors. There's red, there's blue, or there's green. These are awesome for safety. They're awesome for uh, possibly attracting fish. And they also just look cool and fun. Uh, the DIY kit is $99 and I'll put that link down here on Amazon as well. This is a fun gift, uh, but it also has a lot of practical uses. If your kayak angler fishes at dawn or at dusk, um, or they like to go out at night. So that is the Green Blob Outdoors Pimp My Kayak DIY Light Kit and that sells for about $99. Guys, that is gonna do it for my 2020 holiday gift list for the Kayak Angler. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun putting together the list and doing this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please get down in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And as always, if you're not already subscribed, do me a solid, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us. It really makes a big difference to small creators like us. And hit the notification bell too, so that you'll always know when we're gonna post more videos. We do kayak fishing, we do fly fishing, we do saltwater, we kind of do it all here. So if you really love fishing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and we'll catch you later.